much of what uh, Nicolò Caputo says I agree with and uh, the measures that uh, we need to uh, carry out uh, to make uh, um, uh, create a situation where we have less greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture and uh, there are many ideas out there but uh, I, 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 I just at this stage I'm baffled after what happened in last week's plenary. We're planning on doing all of this to mitigate against climate change. And then after we produce this food in probably the most environmentally friendly way possible, with the lowest carbon footprint, we're either going to put it on a plane or we're going to put it in a boat and we're going to potentially send it to Canada. I really cannot understand, if you're serious about climate change, how you can do both. I'd love if someone from the Commission could explain it to me because I'm starting to wonder is the Commission actually really full of climate change sceptics? Because they must be. Because if they're going to go ahead with CETA, you'd have to be. Either that or you're in denial, or you're lying to yourself, or you don't give a bloody damn about the planet that you live on. Which is it? Are we serious about it, or do we not give a damn about it, and we'll move on, steam on ahead with uh, loads of agricultural goods passing each other on the high seas? But sure, at least they'll be environmentally friendly when they leave Europe. Can someone please explain to me from the Commission how CETA and all the other work we do here are compatible? Because to me, it's now turned into a complete and utter joke. I pose this question to the Commission and this quandary to the Commission on many occasions. Um, we are supposedly within the European Union pursuing policies which fight against climate change. I'm just wondering, can you please explain to me how exporting tens of thousands of tonnes of beef uh, goes with that. I'm not saying it's wrong or it's right, but you're telling me you're planning on doing something about climate change. So how do these two things fit together? It's uh, come up in today's coordinators meetings notes and that's about uh, future forthcoming possible trade agreements with New Zealand. And I'm just wondering what I do not know what my left hand and my right hand are doing trick is going to come up on this one. I'm just wondering what negotiations are going to happen with New Zealand and what are we going to trade off? Are we going to trade off the car industry in Ireland which doesn't exist for our dairy industry or how is that going to work?